Hey folks, I am Troy and you're watching Troy Tube. Boy, if I got a video for you today, we're going to talk about the entire wood section at Dollar Tree. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Now, when I say we're going to talk about the entire wood section at Dollar Tree, we're not just going to talk about it, we're going to take a look at it. Look at this. I bought everything wood at Dollar Tree from the craft wood section. Uh, look, I've got everything here. This is all uh, from their uh, crafters square section. Um, you know, I, I, I'm assuming that there's probably a little bit of difference in some of the products from store to store. Uh, I know uh, here in Louisville and in our place in Florida and Fort Myers, it took a while for some of the crafter uh, uh, items to show up in some of the stores that was being seen in some of the other parts of the country uh, so we didn't see some of the tools and the vinyl and other things uh, that uh, some of the crafters were seeing in other Dollar Tree stores in other areas of the country um, but uh, it did finally start to come in and show up uh, over the past several months so the other day I, I actually went in to buy one item ended up spending $125. So uh, I guess all these items were $1.25 and I bought 100 items, so it was $125. Uh, well, I guess it was taxed, maybe it's just a hair under. Um, but anyway, I've got a whole table full of stuff here we're gonna go over. I've separated it into somewhat categories as the type of items that they are. So we'll go category by category, take a look at it, talk about it, some of it is uh, probably CNC cut with saws. Some of it is laser cut, it looks like. Um, and uh, some different things, some things I didn't realize until I got these home and took them out of the bag and started looking at them uh, as to what they were actually. I, I was shocked a little bit um, because I was just grabbing things off the shelf, had a whole cart full of stuff. Went up to the front and had to look at the cashier and say, uh, sorry, <laughs> I just gotta buy all this stuff. Anyway, uh, so uh, let's get started here and we'll talk about every item here is probably gonna be a long video uh, but uh, I, I thought everyone would enjoy seeing all this stuff uh, let me know if you see any other part any other items that your Dollar Tree in the comments below the video that you don't see here uh, like I said I'm sure there's probably some differences out there uh, I had a few items here uh, that I want to show I don't remember exactly which ones they are because it's all they're all mixed up now that I actually bought several months ago um, that I didn't see in the store this time so I went ahead and included them just in case you see them somewhere else uh, or they interest you maybe they're on their website or something too but I'm just going to talk about everything category by category and we'll get started here and uh, talk about what uh, they are and how they're made and and what you might be able to do with them and uh, uh, I'll talk about what I'm going to do with some of them. Uh, some of them I don't have a use for, I just wanted to buy them and share them with you. So uh, we'll get started here. So the first section I've got here are, uh, I guess, stand-up items. I'll call them their shelf setters. Uh, they have a couple crosses. One uh, is uh, this one, and then one is here. So this one has the cutout in the middle uh, that you could decorate. These are thin plywood. They're a little bit thicker plywood than some of these other items. And I'll show you uh, the thickness as we go through these and uh, take a look at it. I actually have a set of calipers here, so I'll measure this. Uh, this is about five and a half millimeters thick. And uh, so we'll take a look at some of these other ones and see the thickness too. So this one's a little bit thicker and heavier than the others, uh, but two crosses here uh, that could be painted, decorated. Uh, you could burn them, of course. Um, uh, maybe burn some designs in them. Maybe stain them, put some poly on them, uh, polycrylic, and use vinyl to decorate them. Uh, but uh, nice little shelf setters. Uh, they are, uh, let's see here. These are about nine inches tall. About six inches wide, so about six by nine uh, inches tall and wide. Then they have some other uh, stand-up items here. Let me gather some of them up. I'm probably going to have to do this in batches uh, to show them to you. And so we have some different animals here. So I'll show you the first set of them. Uh, we have a little doggy, and uh, this one. These all look like they are the uh, same thickness, probably. Yeah, these are all, uh, yeah, they're, these are about four and a half millimeters thick. So a little bit thinner than crosses, but still pretty heavy. Uh, so 
Uh, again, we have this little doggy. I don't know what that is, a little uh, Scotty or whatever it is. We have a cougar or a panther, I guess. Some zoo animals here. Uh, there's a cactus, so uh, for your uh, southwest themes. We have a butterfly. Be cute for a little girl's room. Another cute one for a girl's room. Actually, a couple of them here. Unicorns, a unicorn head, and then the full unicorn. Uh, so those could be decorated and uh, probably made pretty cute. Probably do some rainbow uh, patterns and some glitter maybe on those. Here we have a rhino. Now these get a little bit uh, more detailed. These have uh, like the these have some layering on them and they're heavier. Uh, so these are. These are almost eight millimeters thick, so you can see uh, quite a bit thicker plywood, and uh, they're layered, so you see the ears are layered there. It's a little bit fancier, and they don't have like the little base on them because this one's heavier, so it will stand up by itself. So you got a rhino, you have an elephant, very similar setup. Uh, here's a moose that uh, is back to the. Uh, like the others that has a little base on it and we have a giraffe that's like the elephant and the rhino thicker heavier we have a couple dinosaurs can't remember what these are maybe one, one of them is maybe a brontosaurus or something uh, but one of each that has the base and one has the thicker heavier layered look to it so uh, if you're going to decorate a child's room paint these up, maybe put their name on them or something. Uh, but nice little shelf setters to, to set around, decorate a child's room. Uh, but you have, so you can do, you know, kind of a zoo theme, dinosaur theme, the unicorns, you've got the cactus, the dogs, the cougars. Uh, so you've got some nice shelf setters uh, that you can do there. Now next they have uh, what I call, I guess, hanging signs. Uh, so they're all hanging by, these, by the twine. Uh, so this little rough, kind of rustic looking twine so they have this arrows and uh, so this one is kind of you know has the arrow with the little fletching on the back of it and then this is uh, a little bit more of a generic arrow uh, so you could decorate those maybe uh, you know if you had a uh, you know, maybe a restaurant or a store or wanted to direct people to restrooms or an exit or something like that or or maybe just a, a kids room and you know Put funny sayings on them or something like that uh, be useful uh, there's a heart again with the, the rustic twine to hang it up there a flower it's a little sign uh, just a kind of a generic sign uh, so that'd be good to, to maybe hang on a door or something, just a little welcome sign, maybe. Now here's a vertical sign. So that may be uh, like a small welcome sign, possibly, or maybe an address sign. And then there was a couple uh, different versions of different crosses, again. Again with the uh, twine. Now we'll grab something here and show it to you real quick. Now this is not the Dollar Tree piece of wood, but it, the, the heart sign made me think of this. Uh, a friend of mine did this, a former employee uh, in my former company when we first got the laser cutter and uh, he was messing around learning how to do it. And he cut this piece of wood and burnt an image into it uh, as part of what he was practicing and gave this to uh, Tammy and I. And I thought this was a, a pretty cool thing. Maybe this is an idea if you have a laser burner. I have this little uh, like half watt diode laser burner that I've been playing with that I bought from Amazon. And I could certainly do this with you know this piece of wood uh, but he burnt this image uh, of Tammy and I into this heart for us and uh, you could certainly do something like that with this piece of wood or one of these other signs too uh, with a small laser burner like that or uh, people are stenciling uh, wood using the was it a torch marker or something put it on there and use a, 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 a heat gun to give it the burn effect or use a burn iron, uh, burning iron to burn images in using a stencil. So a lot of things you can do with 
signs like this. Next, they had some things in the little baggies. So I uh, picked up uh, these and thought I'd show them to you. Uh, this one is a, uh, it's labeled as a Harvest DIY pen. Uh, it looks like it has, it's a pie with a, an apple or something there. And it has a little clothes pin attached to the back of it. So there's four of them in there. There is a set of wood numbers that are cut. Uh, so you could use those to layer and, uh, you know, if you wanted to make, uh, add these to one of the other wood projects and glue it on and uh, add those. What was odd is I didn't see wood letters like that. Maybe they have them and they were out of them, but uh, sure would be nice if you had wood letters like that to add to those projects as well. Uh, here's some more wood shapes. These are butterflies. Um, looks like there's, yeah, there's 10 of those in there. Uh, the, the numbers, there's 20 pieces in there, so I'm guessing there's two of each number, uh, zero to nine. And uh, 10 butterflies, uh, 10 wood shapes, the little flowers, kind of the small version of that big flower I held up a minute ago. There's 10 of those. And these are pretty cool. Uh, I mean, these are pretty cool for a buck, buck and a quarter, I guess now. Uh, these are small clothespins. And then these are the little tiny clothespins. And I'm actually going to use these little tiny ones in another project I'm getting ready to do a video on. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, thing, like the, kind of like the Scrabble letters with our names, and use these to add pictures to it. So it's going to be a really cool project I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually working on that right now in another video. I uh, should have that completed here in a few days and ready to publish out there but small clothes pins buck and a quarter there's 24 of these kind of medium sized ones and 50 of these little tiny ones good deal on those now next they had these little uh, packages of words that are laser cut um, these look like they're MDF uh, MDF uh, if you don't know multi-density fiber I think is what it stands for uh, could be wrong on that if I am somebody will correct me below I'm certain of that. And uh, these are uh, kind of like these little cutout numbers I showed you a moment ago, where you could use these and glue them onto other projects, uh, potentially. And uh, each pack has three items in it. Uh, this one says Inspire. This one says Forever. Trust. Hugs, friend, memory, and this one says family, and I want to uh, point this one out. I noticed this on a few of these, and this one is cut. Um, I pick this one up in particular they had other ones that weren't like this but I picked this one up so I could show it to you this one is cut but as you see they didn't punch out all the little holes uh, where they're cut they just need popped out of there uh, so when you get these you want to uh, look at them closely when you pick them up uh, if you can get some that are all punched out you want to get those uh, because you know what I look at it like well what if they're not cut all the way through um, and I try to punch them out they break or something like that uh, so you want to take a look at these closely when you pick those items up now well, next they had these little um, I guess little plaque type things uh, they had three different uh, shapes they're all about the same size uh, this is an oval has the edges uh, that are routed uh, this one's a little bit rough on the front if you can see that on the camera um, but uh, they did have some others that were better than that I just grabbed one and, and brought it home um, but uh, nice little oval kind of a plaque thing um, and then they have one that is square or rectangular with the corners uh, angled on them. It has the routed edges as well. This is like a three quarter inch board, by the way, all three of these are. And then there's a square one with rounded corners again with the routed edges. So those can be, you know, small plaques, maybe small signs. Um, you know, you maybe add a photo to the to it and put uh, polycrylic over it, make it kind of a permanent photo frame. Uh, maybe paint it, use a couple of those little uh, clothespins added to it to hold photos on, on it, 
uh, something like that. So ideas there. And then they have these, uh, uh, just a little bit different take on uh, the same thing. These are small. Uh, these are, um, they're not plywood. These are actually uh, veneered MDF, it looks like. So the core looks like MDF from the side. Let me see how thick these are. These look like they're about six millimeters thick. So they're not super thin. They're, they're decent heavy heavyweight uh, board. You have three shapes. They're kind of like a badge shape or uh, not sure what you would call that. Uh, I think they're called badges in design space, uh, but uh, kind of a plaque shape there. Another one there and then an oval. So same thing, you could use uh, the clothes pins or you know, uh, attach a photo to it, put polycrylic over it to, to seal it in there, or epoxy would be great as well uh, to make it a permanent sign. Or you could use it to uh, make, you know, make you know, signs you know, to hang around the house. Uh, a lot of people like to make the uh, signs to put in their uh, family room or their uh, guest bedroom or their living room that says what their Wi-Fi password is. So when the guests come into their home, they can attach to the Wi-Fi and use it while they're at their home. Uh, so good little uh, boards there. Uh, I'll well, definitely find a use for these because uh, I really like those. Probably could pick up some more of these because these are the kind of things that are handy just to have around uh, for to make little things when you need them. Now next they had these uh, picture frames uh, that are cut out. Uh, they have three different ones at the store that I was at. Uh, they have one that's a heart shape cut out one that is kind of that badge shape, kind of a fancy cutout around the edges. And then another word that's a heart with a space over here. So uh, what I like about this is it gives you a space to maybe put a saying on it or something, uh, maybe some dates or, or a memorial, something like that. And then on the back of it, if you look, it, it's you know wrapped in plastic and shrink wrap and there's a little pin with a hole uh, in each of these, it's on all three of them, where you take the pin, put it in here, and it gives you something to prop that up uh, to set it up on a, on a shelf uh, as a freestanding photo frame. Now you could also, uh, being that they're wood, you could easily add you know, a little hanger to the back of them, hang them on a wall too, but they're intended to be set on a table or a shelf, something like that. But nice little photo frames uh, that, that would be nice to paint or stain and decorate uh, or burn designs and then stain over top of that. A lot of potential that you could do with these. Probably should include this in the first set with the shelf setters. It's a little birdhouse. Um, probably uh, too small to be a practical birdhouse. There's probably somebody that's going to correct me and tell me there's like this little tiny bird from South America that uses a birdhouse like this, but having birds or something, I don't know. But um, I see this being a great little uh, shelf setter uh, to decorate. Maybe somebody loves birds and they want something like this on their shelf or on their curio cabinet. Uh, I know people make wreaths, use things like this to put inside their wreath uh, to match maybe a spring wreath, something like that, uh, with flowers around it and everything. Um, so nice little cute little birdhouse. And then we get into some layered animals uh, and other shapes. Uh, these are laser cut um, animals. And here's a unicorn. These are pretty fancy, uh, neat little uh, animals. Uh, these are, like I said, layered. So you can see there, these are multiple layers that are cut and then glued together and assembled. Uh, there are laser cuts. You can tell they're laser cut when the edges are kind of brown like that. So that's where the laser burns them. And uh, so we have the unicorn, kind of a fancy unicorn. We have a butterfly. A pineapple. Pineapple. Anyone? Little monkey, cute little monkey. Just realize the monkey's missing an arm. I don't know if that's intentional or if it fell off. It doesn't look like there was any glue on it. Little doggy. And a sunshine. So nice little uh, layered items here that could be decorated, painted, glittered up. Um, don't know that you would really want to do vinyl on these because of the way they're layered and everything, but definitely you could paint these and glitter them uh, and use them to decorate. Um, and, and probably, yeah, I'll tell you, 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 you know, I just had an idea with this. Something like this you could do really well with um, 
putting epoxy with glitter and filling in each of the different little gaps here. So my, just ideas, uh, but you know, great shapes to decorate a kid's room again. They had this little tiny pallet uh, sign thing, real little. <laughs> I don't know what you would do with this. Um, maybe make a really, really tiny little sign. I don't know, but they had one. Um, I, I, I'm at a loss as to what kind of ideas I would come up with for this. I can make, probably make a really small pallet sign. I don't know. The gaps are awful large in it. If the boards were uh, closer together, yeah, I could see making some kind of cute little sign to hang up on the wall, maybe by my desk or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm just, uh, just showing you what they have on that one. I have no suggestions. They have this, you know, what's, what's funny is they have this actual skid, a little pallet, a little skid here. And I, I grabbed that and I thought, I don't know what I would do with that other than maybe set it on my shelf or on my desk or something to set stuff on. Oh, it's a coaster, I realized. Um, so it doesn't say coaster, but you could use this and, uh, uh, you know, it, it's got the cracks in it, but you could definitely put something inside. Maybe, you know, they sell like cork sheets and stuff at, at uh, uh, Dollar Tree. So maybe you could put cork uh, on the top of it or maybe just inside to soak up any water or something like that. Eh, you know, it's about the size of a coaster. It reminded me of this thing. I had this company that gave me these post-it notes and uh, they came on a, a little pallet because they were our warehouse uh, logistics company. So it just made me think of that. But you could definitely, uh, you know, do something with this to make it into a coaster or something like that. Don't know, but they have them at Dollar Tree if you need a small pallet and a really small pallet sign. These two shapes I thought were kind of odd. They were just out of place compared to everything else, but they had them, so I picked them up. Uh, these are MDF. They're heavier MDF. Uh, let's check the thickness on these again. Uh, these are about six millimeter as well. Uh, so these are like the um, the others that I, I showed you earlier that are have veneer on them. Uh, so uh, these have these just don't have the veneer. They're just the MDF. Uh, so you would have to paint them or put vinyl on them or something. They have an owl, and then another dog, a little Scotty or whatever it is, looks like the exact same dog as this one it's just a little bit bigger it's the exact same shape identical just a little bit larger but they have these uh, like i said they're mdf so you'd want to paint them put vinyl on them or do something with them um and uh you know the owl uh definitely see how the owl could be decorated really cute you could put a layer of vinyl on it cut out the eyes and everything put on it um, and uh, be really cute for you know, a lot of, I know a lot of kids uh, love owls. I know my daughter when she was young uh, loved owls and uh, loved drawing them and everything. Uh, and uh, so, you know, those could be uh, done up pretty well. Um, they just give you kind of the freedom to paint and do whatever you want with it instead of, you know, having the veneer on it where you want to um, uh, stain it or anything. Now, MDF tends to uh, be a little bit harder to paint sometimes you might try putting some primer on it or maybe sand it just a little bit lightly just to to rough up the surface a little bit because when the surface is really really smooth like that the paint does not soak in at all uh, so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get the paint to stick to it now next we have some little boxes uh, so these little boxes so this one's a castle and uh, they're made out of this little thin plywood uh, so these little boxes be great for a little girl's room to just keep miscellaneous things in. The great pencil holders as well. Uh, so they're probably three or four inches square. This one, I guess, is a pineapple, looks like. Or maybe it has a crown on top. I don't know. It looks like a pineapple to me. Well, here's the crown. It also has a round bottom, so it rocks. Then here is a just a little box with a little flower cut out on the front of it. So, uh, you know, ring boxes, uh, jewelry, things of that nature. Uh, you could probably put a little felt down the bottom of it to put jewelry in it. And then uh, here's a good one. This is a good pencil holder for a teacher. It's an apple. So you could uh, you could definitely paint this up, put vinyl on it, whatever you want to do. Uh, make that into a nice little 
uh, pencil holder for a teacher, make a great teacher gift. Uh, you know, a buck and a quarter, a couple of bucks of supplies and some time makes a great, uh, just, just a great sentiment for a teacher a gift. You know, what you spend on a gift like this means nothing to people usually. It's what you put into it. You know, that old saying, th the thought that counts. And when you make something for someone like that, you put effort into it, people generally appreciate it a lot more than buying them, you know, something. It's, you know, what you put into it, in my opinion. All right, now we get into these trays or these little boxes. I thought these were pretty cool. Some of the uses might be similar to these other, these little box and pencil holders I just showed you, um, but probably a lot more uses for them when it comes to uh, maybe putting jewelry, watches, uh, maybe uh, maybe things like little trays to put on a nightstand that you can put your things in out of your pockets, your pocket knife and your watch and your wallet or, or whatever uh, you want to put in, or maybe on your desk to put, um, you know, like office supplies and different things in. And uh, so I picked up one of each of these. They're just different sizes and designs. Uh, one is like a crate design. So it has like these little lines on the side with handles cut out of each end. Uh, these are all made out of uh, the little thin plywood. It's about three millimeters thick, so it's pretty uh, sturdy. It doesn't really flex or anything. Some of the other stuff is uh, those pencil holder boxes I just showed you. Are the same thing. They're about three millimeters thick, so they're fairly sturdy. A couple of the others are a little bit thinner plywood, so it does give a little bit uh, uh, when you when you push and pull on it. But these are, are a little bit thicker, so you have the little crate. Uh, have a little bit bigger. This one has the oval handle holes in the side uh, a little bit more of a shallow square flat tray type and uh, let's see if I can give you the dimensions on this so on the crate uh, the crate is about three inches by five inches and uh, about two and a half inches deep this shallow tray is about five by seven about an inch and a half deep roughly these are just rough measurements by the way uh, this one is about five by seven. It's the same size as that one. Uh, it has stars cut out of the end. So it's the same size as the one I just showed you with the oval holes, except it has stars cut out in the end instead of ovals. Um, these look a little bit more like um, the, I guess, trays or an inbox, like what you would have on your desk, just a smaller version. And so this one, has little hearts, little ends are a little fancier, and you can see that their sides are angled instead of square. So um, I guess almost like a little more like a tray, like you would serve someone food in or something, like a, a serve, giving someone food in bed or something, um, like a tray like that. But um, nice, cute little trays put together. The bottom of this one is, of all three of these, it looks like is recessed a little bit in there so I want to point that out and these are all roughly that same five by seven size maybe just a little bit larger so you have the one with the hearts one with ovals this one's just a little bit larger than that one it's the larger of the three this one is about the same size as the one with the hearts so it has uh, kind of curved ovals cut in the sides and the same thing they're all angled uh, with the kind of little slightly recessed bottoms in them. And you see, that, like I said, this one's a little bit larger. The other one sits down inside of it a little bit. So um, good little trays for, uh, like I said, probably decorate, paint, stain, maybe put somebody's name on them or something. Be good for someone's desk, put in their, uh, uh, on their nightstand, uh, keep jewelry, wallet, car keys, those kind of things in or miscellaneous items maybe uh, you know just uh, just keeping small stuff in keeping organized just you know, some rough ideas there next they had these three cutout signs they're okay not really fond of them for I'll show you why here in a minute one of them looks pretty good um, these are cutouts uh, one of them says peace one of them says love and one of them says heart. I've never really seen one that says heart. Seems kind of odd to me, but um, that's what it is. 
kind of backwards, I guess, heart. Um, but uh, the problem I have with it, they didn't use what are called stencil letters. So there's no connections to the middle of the letter. So the middle of the A, the middle of the R is missing. Uh, same thing on piece. The middle of the P, the middle of the A is missing. Not real fond of that. Uh, but on love, they did. So the middle of the O is there. Uh, so love looks pretty cool. Um, but if what I could see doing with these, uh, what would be kind of cool would be to put something on the back of it and fill the inside of these letters with epoxy and glitter uh, or something like that. And you know, maybe paint or stain the wood um, and uh, you know, use it as a hanging sign, something like that. Maybe add it to, maybe, hey, maybe this goes in the center of a wreath. Just a thought. This is one little, just kind of oddball picture frame, just a little circle uh, on a stand. Um, little thing on the back to remove the photo that's in there. Uh, but you could certainly um, put a saying around the outside of it, uh, maybe decorate it, um, and, uh, you know, have a little photo in a frame to set on a table or a shelf. Very simple, but just kind of an oddball compared to everything else here. And then we have these words that are cows. So we have uh, home uh, that are on these little shelf sitter boards. Um, these are all about, you no, know, I guess about five or six inches wide here. Uh, let me measure. And uh, yeah, about almost six inches wide. Uh, so we have home. These are, uh, looks like they're cut with a scroll saw or something. So they're a little bit rougher around the edges. They're not laser cut. Um, but they're, they're nice, nice little things. Probably could use a little bit of sanding and uh, trimming up around the edges, some little splinters and things sticking off the edges. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but decent looking. There's home, peace, love, and relax. So those uh, four, I didn't see any others of those type uh, that were uh, uh, at Dollar Tree, but those could certainly be painted and decorated and, and used to sit around just to fill up little gaps in shelves where uh, you have different things and you don't really have anything that fits. I know at our place in Florida, we have shelves that are underneath the stairs. So there's like little angles uh, on one side of the shelves and you can't really sit anything in there. So I have to get like little small pieces. And so those will go well to just fill in little gaps and spaces like that for us there when I get them painted and decorated up a little bit. They had this one word that was laser cut, uh, picked it up. I didn't see any others like this. Um, this one word, uh, this says, uh, I think it says cute. <laughs> it's not done very well, um, but uh, it says cute. Um, I think they could have done a better job of that. If they'd have just let this disconnected up here at the top of the C and U, probably would have been a little bit better. Maybe disconnect the U and the T here. Uh, but I thought that was kind of odd the way they, they did that. Um, but that was a one-off nothing else like it uh, in the whole lot of the the wood craft section of Dollar Tree just the word cute now these next pieces I didn't even realize what these were I just grabbed everything put it in the cart brought them home and when I got them home uh, there was a little light laying in the bottom of one of the bags by itself and I thought oh you know there was just something in a bag at Dollar Tree that was in the bottom of the bag you know it's just junk and then I started to look when I started to take these shapes out I realized there is a light inside of these so this is a uh, laser cut uh, it's layered kind of a boxed type thing um, it's cut out and then there is a light inside of it. I'll turn one of them on here in a minute so we have a butterfly a little dinosaur like kind of like a little kid's dinosaur the little kind of fancy girly unicorn we have the word thankful kind of hard to see on camera they're they're a little bit better in person because the lighting makes it kind of hard to see on camera they look a little, they do look better in person trust me on that we have the word family and the word home and this is the one that actually fell out and uh, so if i turn the light on there gives you an idea turn my light out here make it a little darker there we go maybe that's a little better so they come with that little light in them for a buck and a quarter 
wood cut out and uh, the little lights included. So just battery operated. Now we're winding this down. <laughs> so so uh, promise almost to the end here. Um, there's been a lot of products have gone over. Uh, so last a uh, couple things I'm going to show you here. Uh, so they have these chalkboard signs. Uh, so these hang have that little twine on them and so you have the raw wood the little thin plywood around the edges uh, so you have a little chalkboard sign in the middle and they're they have different shapes of those as well similar to the uh, just the plain wood shapes you have this one it's just a different shape frame around it uh, this is one I bought uh, some time ago I didn't see it uh, at the store I was at the other day but I did buy this uh, several months ago at Dollar Tree it was just a plain little chalkboard not sure if that was in the wood section that might have been over in like the school supply section honestly it was laying here with all my wood products I bought several months ago uh, there is a square frame this one kind of looks like a tablet I guess like a writing tablet and then you have one uh, that is a uh, kind of shaped like a house so be cute for a realtor, you know, if they're having an open house, they want to write something on it and maybe hang it on the front door. Um, and they did also have, you notice I wrote on that with a chalk marker. Uh, they did have chalk markers there as well. So I picked those up. They have white, that was what I wrote it with, silver, gold. There's a, uh, this is green. I was looking to see if it had a color actually written on it. I don't know if it's neon green or just a bright green. And they have purple. So they do have the chalk markers to go with those chalkboard signs too. Whew. Finally, the last items here that was in the wood section. Uh, they have dry race. And so this is like a two-piece one that is tied together with this string, kind of like a um, one you would hang over across a nail, I guess, or maybe it's a two-sided one that you would hang over something like this, but it is dry erase on the uh, two sides there. And then just like the uh, chalkboard, you have a house-shaped one and a rectangle-shaped one. And uh, I wrote on that with one of my dry erase markers. I didn't see dry erase markers. They're probably, if they have them, they're probably over in the school supply section and they probably do have them. I just didn't go over there and look. I didn't think to look for dry erase markers. I was so caught up in picking up everything in the wood section that uh, I didn't think to go around and look or I would tell you if they have them. They probably do. So I know how you guys love all these Dollar Tree videos. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed that one. That was a lot of stuff. I mean, this uh, you saw at the beginning of the video that covered an entire uh, six foot folding table here uh, when I laid everything out to get it organized to prep for the video. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, some of this I'm going to play with in uh, my laser burner and uh, play around with that. Uh, like I said, I've got just a uh, half watt diode laser burner. I actually have another laser burner on the way. Um, it's not a Glowforge, nothing like that. <clears throat> I have another one on the way uh, that I should have here in the next week or two uh, that I'm going to play around with see if it's something that I want to do a review video on something I can recommend it looks pretty good uh, so far and we'll see how it turns out um, the reason I say we'll see is if you'll remember I had a heat press video that I was going to do a few weeks ago after I received the heat press I examined it kind of dissected it a little bit took it apart and then I did another video, didn't disclose who it was, but I declined to do the video because I could not, I told the manufacturer I could not, you know, in good faith do a uh, video on their product and show it in a good light uh, because I didn't feel it was a safe product to show and recommend. I couldn't put my name behind it. So uh, the laser, you know, once I get it, once I use it and evaluate it, see where it stands, we'll see where that turns out and if I can 
uh, you know, do that and make that recommendation. Now, I believe it's a five or a five and a half watt diode laser. Um, and so those will do quite a bit. You can burn anything. You can cut quite a bit of material with it. Uh, it's not going to be as uh, powerful as a big CO2 laser, of course, but it is affordable. It's very useful. Uh, it can do, uh, I believe it can do cups and cylindrical objects too. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, but uh, I should should have this something. Uh, should have that in the next week or two uh, to start working with, and maybe in a few weeks I'll have a video review on it and uh, share that with you, and uh, share recommendations and my opinion on that as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and all of these wood products, and I'm going to get to work on decorating some of these and take some of them, take, probably take some of them into our place in Florida uh, this week and uh, see what we can do down there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on these items uh, or if you have different wood craft items that you like that's at your Dollar Tree that I don't have here, feel free to share those with us in the comments below. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, again, do the same thing, comments below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.